All right, today I'm going to show you how to set up your XML sitemap for your website using the Yoast SEO plugin. And this is for WordPress sites, so your site has to be on WordPress for this to work. Um, so right now I'm in my website, uh, Ray SEO. Uh, so the first thing you'll do is you want to install the Yoast plugin. So you'll go down to plugins, click add new. Let me get rid of myself here because it's bothering me. Okay. So now we're in the plugins area. Um, you're just going to search for Yoast. So it's Y O A S T. Hit enter. And here it is Yoast SEO. As you can see, I've already activated it and I've actually customized it and set it up already. Um, so you want to do that, but that could be for another video. For the sake of this, uh, for the sitemap, you're just going to go to SEO. That This is where the plugin's located. Then click on XML sitemaps. And this screen's going to open up with your Yoast interface. Um, and when you first get it, it, this might be disabled. I'm actually not sure if it is. Um, either way, you want to make sure that this is in purple. It needs to be enabled for your XML sitemap functionality. Um, and in order to access the actual sitemap file, you're gonna click right here. And there's your sitemap in a second. Yeah, pretty basic in the case of my site for now. I haven't added all the pages that it's gonna have. But anyway, you get the idea. So once your sitemap is ready, and uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. You can exclude certain things, um, which you're probably going to want to do for like tags and uh, certain taxonomies, media attachments, so forth. Um, but I can explain that at a later point. For now, um, you're going to take this sitemap. So all you need to do is you just need to remember the URL address for the sitemap. So in this case, it's always going to be .xml at the end, right? And just to clarify, the point of a sitemap, in case you're wondering, this isn't so much for users, it's it's more for Google. It's a map of your site, but it's in XML form, so it's telling Google what all your pages are that you want to have indexed, right? So by setting this into Google, which is what we're going to do next, you're telling Google, I want these pages to show up in search results. Now, it doesn't mean that they won't already, uh, you don't have to submit a sitemap to have your website show up in search results. This just speeds up the process and it gives Google a better idea of the way your site is structured and how you want things to appear and whatnot. Okay, so we're going to take this URL. We're going to go into uh, Search Console, which I have open over here. So here's my Search Console for that website. Um, yeah, you need to set up Search Console in case you haven't already. It's fairly easy to do. You just go to Search Console and add new property and enter your URL. Um, so to, to add a sitemap, we're going to go to uh, oops, Crawl and click on Sitemaps. And you can see here I've already submitted one. But if I were going to submit a new one, I would click up here for the Add Test Sitemap and then I would type in the, uh, I would enter in the, uh, the correct URL. So they have the base here, but you want to add the sitemap underscore index.xml because that's what Yoast gives us. So we'll just paste it and then take that beginning part out. This is what we have and we can test it first before we submit it, which is always good to do. Make sure that everything's working right. No errors found, great. So we're all good. And so I already have mine submitted. I did this, uh, actually I did this today. Oh yeah, because I, I made a couple changes to it, I think. So I've already done it. Um, if you want to resubmit your sitemap at any point, you just highlight it here, hit resubmit. And it's a good idea to do that after new posts or new changes you've made to your site. Um, again, Google will eventually reflect those changes in the results, but this tends to speed up the process, right? So if you create a new post, um, the first thing I want to do is go in here and do fetches Google 
you know, enter the URL of the post and then fetch, fetch and render. Um, and you can do desktop and mobile for that to make sure that it's working. And that's about it. Anyway, so setting up Yoast is pretty simple. It's totally free, by the way, in case you didn't know. And the maximum entries per sitemap is set to 1000 by default, but you can always change it. Usually you want uh, a pretty tidy sitemap. You won't want it to be too many pages because you don't want things to be indexed that you don't that you wouldn't want people landing on if that makes sense. So like you wouldn't want an account an account page to be indexed. You wouldn't want a login page to be indexed because that doesn't really make sense. You it's like you don't want somebody landing on that page from search. It's just because why? All right, so that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Probably I'll probably explain the rest of this because there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. And you can buy the premium version, which does things like redirects and stuff. So anyway, I'll talk about that later. Thanks for watching.